Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Manned, Plug Power invests in hydrogen fuel cells. Also, we have an update about the stranded dog seen in drone footage and Apple drone patent revealed. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Plug Power invests in hydrogen fuel cells. Airflow, an AAM company working on their four and nine passenger electric stole aircraft, has announced a new investment from Plug Power Inc., known for their hydrogen engines and mobility fueling systems. Plug will help in the development and certification of a hydrogen fuel cell for short haul regional aircraft. Their new agreement with Airflow is hoped to bring their pro-gen hydrogen cells to a wider market of vehicles, later branching to a wide spectrum of missions and aircraft types in the aviation industry. Airflow has a run of good luck, recently securing more than $600 million in LOIs from 11 airlines operating sub-regional aircraft, hoping to grab market share from other short-haul aircraft by offering fleet replacements. Airflow is working on a few options to best meet the propulsion needs of airline customers hungry for carbon-neutral green aircraft to boost their ESG scores. The use of hydrogen as a fuel source has already begun under the plug umbrella, with some test airports already using the cells to power ground support equipment. The partnership hopes to expand these facilities throughout the airport ecosystem, possibly through a combination of plugs, hydrogen provisions, and airflow as battery and SAF locations. Coming up after the break, Wink strikes a deal with Walgreens. More news after these messages. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. So let's start with Wing strikes deal with Walgreens for UAV shipping. Walgreens has selected drone delivery specialist and former Alphabet Inc company Wing for its upcoming Metropolitan Delivery Systems with a test location set up in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas region. In a parking lot staging area, Walgreens personnel will pack, process, and load packages onto the delivery drones with Wing's flight operations overseeing the shipment straight to customers. Wing's drone carrier is advertised with an average service of a six-mile flight radius in six minutes carrying small parcels, most suited to small cargo like food, parts, and materials. Medication. Reliable Robotics raises $100 million. Reliable Robotics has raised $100 million for further development of their remotely operated aircraft system. Breaking from other unmanned aerial platforms, Reliable's technology is independent from any one aircraft, capable of fitment across a multitude of planes, beginning on a Cessna 172 and moving to a 208. They see their systems integrated throughout the industry opening a multitude of smaller regional airports to commercial service. 
Unlike the current hub and spokes model, their blueprint is built around the flexibility inherent to their remote operation. Rocket Lab to reuse Electron Rocket Rocket Lab has revealed its newest efforts refining its Electron Rocket's first stage recovery and reusability processes. During their next satellite delivery launch, after delivering the second stage and payloads towards its target, the first stage will complete a controlled descent aided by parachutes to the ocean. Once there, their ocean recovery and capture apparatus system will retrieve the rocket for inspection and return to service. Their eventual goal is to capture a returning rocket mid-flight during its descent. Volocopter's Volodrone takes flight. German company Volocopter has carried out its first successful test flight of their new Volodrone, their upcoming heavy lift UAV. The three-minute test flight reached an altitude of 72 feet while carrying a Euro pallet-sized test load. The aircraft delivered its payload to a DB Schenker cargo bike that completed ground delivery to its final destination. The test proves a concept of a multi-model all-electric delivery system, albeit on a much smaller scale than real-world distances. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. We have an update about the stranded dog set to be rescued by drone from lava. New video has resurfaced that an unknown group of people rescued the dogs, but according to Leales.org, an animal welfare group, they are working to confirm the animal's whereabouts. The ongoing volcanic activity of Cumbre Vieja on the Spanish Isle of La Palma has been a subject of internet interest since it began. About a week ago, however, viewers remotely touring the situation noticed four scrawny haggard dogs trapped behind a house, stuck behind the exclusion zone with local airspace closed near the volcano, the dogs seemed doomed to starvation or death by lava flow. Local UAV companies Technofly and Tcom Solutions stepped up to the plate and began airlifting food and water to the emaciated dogs, securing their survival for a time. Upon contact with a Spanish animal welfare group, Jaime Pereira, CEO of Aerocameras, volunteered his company's services. In preparation for the mission, his team has completed a series of short lift tests, gauging their drone's capabilities to retrieve one dog at a time, fly it free of the area, and repeat the efforts a few more times. While it would have been neat to see the dogs being rescued by drones, we are hoping the reports are true, that the pups are safe and on their way to recovery. Coming up after these messages, Apple drone patent revealed. Those details after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal. 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back, Apple drone patent reveal. Is it for UAS first cellular networks? We shall see. Whatever projects they pursue, their market penetration and unique approach toward the end user tends to have an effect on every product ecosystem they enter. It's not an overstatement to say that whatever they do, they will be an industry reaction. 
The Swiss watch industry had a brief panic upon release of the highest tier Apple watch in 2014, fearing their watches would be knocked from their $5,000 thrones. UAS manufacturers and pilots might rightly fear then the changes in coming when they see a sleek, glassy white drone mock-up with an Apple logo in their inbox. Would their approach to operation and design kick off industry fads that affect the rest of the UAS brands? Thankfully, to an extent, those fears are unwarranted. Apple's newest patent pertains to UAS utilization in cellular networks. Now granted systems and methods for using unmanned aerial systems in cellular networks describes a methodology for positioning a UAS in a 5G network for enhanced connectivity. The process is described from a non-technical layman's perspective. Seems like methods to enhance the communications between a drone, its controller, and the network at large. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.